Hey guys, it's Jed here from Disrupt Tutoring. Always so lovely to join you. Today we're going to have a look at some shapes and the names of those shapes based on the properties displayed in the test and exam. So let's look at this. We've got an identify each of the figures below. Let's start off by looking at the first one. So in figure A, we notice that we've got two pairs of arrows on one pair of line segments and we've got another pair of different types of arrows on the other line segments. What do these types of arrows mean? They mean that this line is parallel to this line and it means that that line is parallel to that line. So when we've got two pairs of parallel lines, we know that this type of shape is called a parallelogram. Very nice. Perfect. Moving on to the next one, we've got figure B. We've got a line segment that has markers on it indicating that these two line segments are the same and we have another pair of line segments with this marker on indicating that that pair of line segments is the same. What does this mean? It means that this type of shape is called a kite, just like you fly. Moving on to the next one and this is a trickier one because it's a shape we've probably never seen before and there isn't anything clear or obvious about it. We do notice that there are seven sides but what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a general name because those sides are not regular at all. So we're going to call this shape an irregular polygon. And that is a catch-all variable or catch-all word or phrase for any shape that doesn't necessarily have any distinct features about it. So that is an irregular polygon. Moving on to the next one, we've got figure D. Figure D, we can see again, is a shape that has five sides but we're not clear on how many sides or whether these sides are equal or not because they haven't indicated with a little marker on them. So therefore, figure D, what could we say about it? We know that a shape that has five sides is called a pentagon, but we know more specifically that this pentagon is irregular because they haven't said to us that the sides are the same size. So this is an irregular pentagon. And that should get you the marks in the test. Right, guys, that's all from me. Before I go, very special thank you to our sponsors for making these videos possible. Um, if you're looking for more educational type videos, head over to our website. If we haven't answered your question, remember you can send us your question and we will respond with a personalized video. Until the next time, guys, stay epic.